Hello, everybody. Welcome to this little Zoom broadcast with our friends Hobby Darkstar and Scott Carroll. We're going to be talking about sing-along songs tonight that you might want to play in an event where there's not dancing, but at least you can do some audience participation stuff. Right, Howie? Yeah, that, that was uh, how this started. Um, I had noticed that certain events are allowing uh, them to have guests, but no dancing because of some whatever state it was. Sure. And I imagine that's going to catch on. So I, I just started making a sing-along crate that would I, I made a couple of them when one were the usual sing-alongs that people sing along to anyway and then one where you can do make it into a game where it has a male and a female and you can just go, oh that's cool all right now hey amen okay now the ladies you know right of the mic would be off i would be faking you know just for performance just a hey, I, you know, you say that, and it reminded me of another song that that's a sing along that I didn't put on my list. So I'll save it for later. And Scott Carroll's here to keep us honest. <laughs> keep honest. Well, you know, there's so many different genres of sing along songs, not just sure. you know, not just pop. There's country in there too. I know. We yeah, I have the country in mind. Yeah. Yeah, and I, yeah I, I really broke it up. I mean. How else would I get a hundred songs? Oh my gosh, I had like wow. thirteen, and I thought I was doing good. We're, Better we're, get started. Uh, we're racking our brains. Do you want to go back and forth with this? So, like, like you do a song, I'll do a song. We'll try to do no repeats and see how far we can get. Yeah, sure. Okay, you go first, Howie. What's your first sing along? Well, obviously, things like um, "Living on a Prayer." Um, then the women's anthem, "I Will Survive," Gloria Gaynor. Mm -hmm. Um, you did you, one on my list. You would have uh, Africa by Toto. Okay, two on that's, my list. That's still hot. Yeah, that's very hot. That's a really good one to do right now. I'll so go to. Go ahead. I no, was just say, I'll go to the top of my list. I'll just do one song at a time. And these are songs that you're not necessarily singing the whole song to, but you're singing a part of the song. Mm hmm. Sometimes, I'll, you know, a lot of DJs do this where the crowd's ready to sing and you actually kill the volume on the fader and they sing, then you bring it back up. Exactly. And the, the first one that comes to mind, for, uh, first one that came to mind on my list was You Shook Me All Night Long, ACDC. That's on my list too. Good one. Mm -hmm. Your turn. We're, du we're dueling. Go. All right. Go ahead, Scott. All right. Uh, Red Solo Cup. That was one we didn't. Oh, didn't yeah. Play. Mm -hmm. That was that's, one I was going to put in there because when everybody gets to drinking and partying, they've got those. They got a red solo cup. I'll get them to hold them up and participate. That's actually that's perfect for the for the the format of the smaller events, backyard parties. It's yeah. probably going to be a lot of red solo cups. So yeah, yeah, perfect. yeah, yeah. Um, I have. Uh, Do you love me by the Contours? Ooh. Everybody knows that, and yeah. it has male and female. So you could make that into a game, uh, right. almost, you know, whatever. I'm not much of a game guy, but, you know. What are you going to do? We got to do what something. We got to do what we have to do. I mean, I'm right. okay on the mic, though, so I could I could pull it off. The next one I have on my list is, and these, these are all just pretty obvious ones, I think, uh, Shout. And I do the Otis mm -hmm. Day Nights version. Oh, yes. And not only with the Shout part, and I know this is a dance song, and we're trying to not encourage dancing, but there's the... Hey, 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 part in the song exactly that you do the volume drop on so well i really like that idea because we you know they're gonna know i mean these people what they're gonna do is there won't be it's not like they'll have a dance floor and you're not allowed on it they'll have tables all spread apart you so can do people, it your could, share. people can just kind of you know you know you just to right. make the announcement please you know obey the whatever rules uh, you know and hey feel free to chair dance you can still do I, shout in your chair there's no reason you can't do right that. perfect perfect song for chair dancing mm -hmm. uh, i think scott you're next yeah i am next i know and i this has been a standby for us for several years and it's came back into play was stroken Clarence Carter. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That is one that I kind of like to play toward the end of the evening because of it being a little bit of risque, but yes. 
still gets requested. It's one you uh-huh. don't want to play if grandma and grandpa are still there if you're doing a wedding. So you know, it's funny because 20 years ago, 30 years ago, that was a staple. You just played it. And you didn't think twice about it. But now you want to be a little careful with it. Yeah. 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 I have I have uh, songs that I'm like, mm, yeah, this would be like, yeah, you'd have to be careful, wait towards the end type of thing. So that that's that's a good song. I like that. Yeah. Let's see. What um something I came up with is because we can't keep doing oldies that everybody's been doing to just, right. just to freshen it up a little. I threw in uh, timber because it's got pitbull and uh, Kesha. So we you'd have male female. Right. Um, right there. A lot of those pitbull songs are they, they turn into sing alongs. Yeah. Well I mean, especially Timber. You can hear Everybody it. knows Timber. And it's always those those bits in the songs that aren't really lyrics, they're like noises. Right. Yay, 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 don't stop the party. You know, they'll sing that, but maybe they won't and sing the verse. Exactly. And that's where the crowd would get real loud. You know, right. yep. I mean, you've, we've, we've all heard sing-alongs where people don't know the words. Like, rah, 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 rah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, what else? Okay, here's like my least favorite song, but it is a sing-along. It is a sing-along, and you're not going to be able to play it at every party, but if you've got your people at the party looking like Scott and Howie, you can play this song. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be Meat Loaf's Paradise for the Dashboard Light. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I, I have that on the list, but good Lord, that's an eight and a half minute song. Yeah, if you have to go to the bathroom, it's perfect. Um, well, that there would be obviously male, female, uh, yeah. where you could do the game if you needed to burn up. They act minutes. it out. They can right. do some of that acting out in the chairs. Right. <laughs> So, mm-hmm. but I, yeah, I mean, I would only play it if I had to. Yeah, I, it, I'm, I was just brainstorming. I mean, I didn't think yeah. about making this list until you said to me a half yeah. an hour ago, "Hey, let's do a sing along recording." I'm like, "Oh, okay." I'll well, go. another one I have here, male female, is uh, "Summer Nights." Um, yeah, with, uh, John yeah. Travolta, Olivia Newton John. You have yeah. your male female play, there. Play the Grease song. That's what a lot of people will say. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the Grease song. You mean yeah. Summer Nights? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, at the and, end and, of the song, they, they go Nights. Nah, I mean, everyone does that. Oh, yeah. sure. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. In fact, I'll get in the microphone and I'll say, "Big finish, everybody!" You put the mic out, and they'll go Nights. Nah, it's just so. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big one. And you know, speaking of. You're the one that I want is also a sing along. And it's yes. because it's that whole doo wop thing with the ooh, ooh, ooh. They do that part of it. Mm-hmm. So even if they don't do the rest, they'll or do, do, do the parts, you know, the noise yeah. parts that aren't really words they do. So you could even do the, isn't there, wasn't there a, a medley recorded on the Grease medley? Yes. Oh, yeah. The, the, yeah, Grease but that's Megamix. the one that Brian and I take the middle song out of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Grease Vega mix that has Grease Lightning in there too. Yeah, Grease yeah. Lightning. Ah. Which is also a sing-along, you know. Yeah. But there were some bits in that song that people didn't want people to sing. Well, I say, since you were there, I would throw that in there for you. <laughs> right. But you know what? It, it does work. I, I personally <laughs> prefer to play those two songs back-to-back and eliminate Grease Lightning to yes. sing the Megamix. But mm-hmm. that's me. I get more traction out of doing both of them in a row. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, you're right. All that mm-hmm. stuff. Scott, well, I, I, don't, I, I have I, one for um, – I have one for John – Oh, go ahead and give okay. that one. You you want me to? I the one graduations are coming up for me. I've got my first little mini graduation party coming up, and the song. Remember the graduation song that came out a few yeah. years ago? I had a yeah. group that was singing along to that song because a lot of schools were picking that as their graduation song. And Who did that? Oh, you would ask me that now. I can't remember who did that. I remember, remember who did that, but I, I've got it in my genre of sing-alongs that I, I've kind it was of... A, it was, a, it was a, a girl, wasn't it, who was singing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably I don't remember who it was. There or something. It, would, it was... I'm not going to sing it, but I'm terrible. I right. everybody off. But um, DJs can't sing. <laughs> we try. But that's one that I would say during graduations to do. That's, that's a really good idea. So you have one for John Howie. I do. Uh, I I just I just had, but it's a good song. But okay. I thought of John right away. Um, Dusty Springfield, son of a preacher man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I John. I had thumbs to do up it. on that one. <laughs> Sorry, John. I had to do it. <laughs> I, I was waiting for a Huey Lewis song. I'm like, what's no, the song? I went the other way, man. I yeah. went obscure. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Brian. I was thinking a Huey Lewis song in there. But... There's one that I have on my list that, you know, I was telling Scott before the broadcast, back in the late 80s, early 90s in the clubs in Milwaukee, this was a huge sing-along. And I don't know, I think people might sing along to it now, especially folks my age, if they heard it. It's a song I've talked about recently, Enjoy the Silence by Depeche Mode. Something mm -hmm. about that, that middle section, they would just scream it when they would sing it, and it was just this just wave of voices coming in. It was actually really, really beautiful. I think back on it, it was really good memories of that. But you know, that that's kind of a weird one, but if you've got that Gen X crowd, I think you could probably get away with it and they would sing it. Yeah. Well, if you're going to go with that direction, uh, Panic at the Disco, right? Yeah. I write uh, Sins, Not Tragedies. Yeah, they will you know, sing that one. Because we can't keep playing, like I said, you know, you can't play oldies all night. You know? Right. Yeah. You can't play Don't Stop Believing all night, which they will sing. Right. Yeah. And that's definitely a big sing along. Um, well, they. Par, uh, party Rock is another one that people really get into doing. LMFAO? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah LMFAO and Pitbull. Mm -hmm. Even Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Since we want to stay more newer, that's the kind of things I've been thinking of, too, on that. Yeah. Those are really good observations. Yeah, I was thinking as with the with the climate the way it is now, it, it might be good to either do alternate, you know, oldies and then something newer, just mm -hmm. to keep the crowd interested. You know, it's just to give people ideas, which is yeah. what this show is mm -hmm. about. Who's whose turn is it? It's Scott's turn. Is it my I turn? believe so. Let's go with Scott. I'm going to go back and, and go in back into a little bit of country since I do know a little bit about it. <laughs> yeah, you do. A whole lot, but I do. I played oh, a lot. Gainesville, um, what do you qualify? It, the, you're the reason God made Oklahoma. And that one is people like to sing karaoke on that song, but also they will sing along even if they're not doing karaoke with it. Um, yeah. Lefty. I'm trying to remember what the group was, but I, I've got the two. It was a man and a woman singing it. Yeah. Yeah. I so haven't played it in a, a while, duet. but it would be one of those ones that you would reach in if they you had that type of crowd. Especially not, if you're down south. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was huge when I lived in Oklahoma, of course. But, yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good one for you southern DJs and country DJs. Yeah, and if you're going, you know, you're in that vein or that crowd – um again like scott mentioned earlier later in the night friends in low places that is you know they've yeah. had a few drinks that's killer <laughs> yes every everybody is sing to that mm -hmm. and if it's early in the night you can always do thank god i'm a country boy John everyone Denver. knows it mm -hmm. i know it's an old song but everybody knows it everybody so, knows it. and everybody yeah. smiles when you play it nobody goes oh that song everybody smiles mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it's silly and cheesy, and they have fun with it, and they stomp their feet and clap their hands, and very audience participation. Mm -hmm. But they can do that at their tables. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You're up against God. It's a speed round. Are you, where am I? If it's my turn next? Yeah, this is going really <laughs> fast. Okay. Wow. I'm hoping I'm not running out of things. Well, I'm going to go oh. southern again. Okay. Freebird. Yeah, they will sing along to it, and they will sit there and air guitar when it picks up. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, and that's everywhere. I don't care if you're south, north. Freebird seems to go. From what I've spoke to some DJs, it's more popular down south. Yes, it's our. Well, we do we we do Freebird up here too. Oh, it it was huge on, on the east coast too. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah it happens everywhere, mm -hmm. no. and it's even more popular yeah. now than it used to be. Yeah. yeah, but there was a time when it got burned out because, yeah. I mean, people would always oh. – that was like an anthem uh, or like a catchphrase or whatever you want to say. Where people Play Freebird. Yeah. Freebird, Freebird. <laughs> well, they just holler it out. and Yeah, yeah they do. And the lighter and <laughs> yeah. there you go. But that's 
I said, I, I don't want to stay on this one thing, but I'm kind of going where no. a lot of what I've used in my area. And, you're, you're doing a good job. I like it. Yeah. All right. Oh, am I up? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, another male, female, uh, a little modern, crazy in love, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the uh-oh, uh-oh, yep. as well. Even it. if they don't know the words, it'll it's be the one of those mumble, 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 mumble. uh-oh, yeah. uh-oh, will be real loud. And right. it'll be funny. It'll be funny and it'll be fun. Yeah. And that's what they want a memory, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was thinking about, and, and just as Scott was, and I were talking before you came in through him, I'm like, what would be like a rap song that you could sing along to, like a hip-hop song? And there's a bunch of it, but the one that came to mind that most everyone knows, it's almost like a classic hip hop song, is Just a Friend by Biz Marquis. I have that on my list. Oh. I was going to say that later. Yeah. Yep. By Biz Marquis. But even yeah. like Usher's Yow would be like that, or mm -hmm. um, ODB Got Your Money, or DMX Party Up. A lot of those songs could be sing alongs as well. Or like Wild Thing by Tone Loke. Yeah. You know. Um, I just distinctly remember pe people screaming the chorus of Just a Friend mm -hmm. at events, you know, because he sounds ridiculous when he's singing, so they just scream it and sometimes they make up their own words. Like I remember one time it was, You got a disease, but you say it's just a rash and it's crawling up your ass. That was <laughs> one of the variations. Yeah. So, Scott? I might as well come up into the pop scene a little bit and go, I tell you what we didn't think of, Rock Lobster. I know we mentioned the other one, but Rock yeah. Lobster is yeah. one that, and I know it's more danceable thing, but they still mimic and do yeah, it's a pogo. With it. Yeah. Yeah, well, anything by the B-52s will be a chair dance. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to go really retro now because I've done too many modern things. I'm going to go, and I know everybody knows this one, and they'll sing along to it, Daydream Believer, the monkeys. Oh, that's a good oh, one. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a good one. Or, and, it's a a and it's a happy song because, you know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff people sing along to that may not be appropriate for a wedding. But this one here, you can't go wrong. You can even do this at, you know, a Christian wedding. Like I do, I do some Baptist weddings. The only reason I know so much about non-dance weddings is because they're Baptists don't dance. <laughs> no, they'll sit in the chair and mimic it, but they won't. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Don't don't you dare dance. Well, they did. Oh, it's almost like uh, you know, uh, Dirty Dancing. The you know the movie. Like the kids want to get up and dance, and you know mm -hmm. the elders are looking, giving them the stink <laughs> eye. You know. <laughs> oh wow. Well, speaking of Baptist weddings and trying to play things that aren't risque, how about the Time Warp from the Rocky Horror Picture Show? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you, you you have a point there because the kids may have seen it, but the adults didn't. They don't know. They won't know. What There's something about. in the song that's bad. <laughs> it's just from a weird movie. <laughs> yeah. See, this is the speed run, Scott. You're up again. Yeah, I'm up again. Now, here's you the know, cool thing. Here's the cool thing about Scott, by the way. He got thrown into the fire on this one. He had no time to prepare. I had no, I'm pulling all this stuff out of my head. We're, we're just like, hey, we're going to do this broadcast. Do you want to stick around? He's like, I, yeah, sure, I'll stick around. So he's pulling out of his, his yeah. hat. Well, he, and we're going to get back to more of the air guitar type of stuff, doing stuff in place. Mm -hmm. And I was going to mm -hmm. say Soul Man and Blues Brothers because yeah. of the fact mm -hmm. that you can do that no matter where you're at in the room. Mm -hmm. yeah. if you're see if you're we're talking about doing things interactively in place, that is one that you can do it. And uh, yeah. some people will sing along to it too now. I mean I've I've had that. I've had that happen. So didn't mean to throw you too far on the loop on that. No, you're good. You're doing well. <laughs> we're this is about ideas tonight. Howie you're up. Oh let's see. I'm gonna go um I'm going to go something, it's pretty upbeat and eh, relatively new. All things, all the small things, Blink-182. Yeah, yeah. That's an yeah. audience participation song all day. Yeah, and it's it's generic enough that you don't have to worry about. No, there's nothing. Yeah. The Baptists won't get mad at you. 
Yeah, nobody would get mad at that. I, I got the ultimate audience participation song that you could totally do in your chair, and people would do it, and they would sing it. And it's not even on my list, but I just thought of it. YMCA Village People. Yeah. They, uh, there you go. Yeah, they could do the motions to that for sure. That's a good yeah, idea. I, I mean, you know, whatever. Why? Um, I can't do it, but you guys could do it. Yeah. Yeah, YMCA. <laughs> In your chair all day long, no problem. Yep. Well, you, you would be the YMCA with the with the one light out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Lowercase Y or something like that. I don't oh, know. now I got to think. Now I got to pull. Now I got to pull my thinking cap in there a little harder um, with some of the stuff we've been coming up with. I've got some real obvious ones on my list that no one's mentioned yet. Yeah, I didn't go with any obvious ones yet either. I, yeah. Well, and I know, I know. I want to. I want to take one, but then I don't want to take it. And go, go ahead. Go. Shout, shout, shout. Yep. I mentioned that, that one already. Oh, did you, you did? mention that one? I thought I did. Mm. Okay. Well, or maybe we just talked about well, it in conversation. I've, then, then I've got another one. Sky Fox, Sly Fox. Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. There you go. I, I went from one spectrum, but that's sure one of those, dead. <laughs> He's like, no, but that's one of the no, ones over here that's good too. <laughs> that was awesome. that's, that's one that you can throw out and people will know, and some will, especially if they grew up in the eighties, they know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if we're going eighties, staying alive, the Bee Gees, seventies, but it counts. Oh, it counts. It's seventy. It'll count. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, seventy-seven. I think it was, wasn't it? Or seventy eight. Seventy seven is when when the when Saturday Night Fever came out. So, yeah. I was I was doing you were you were doing sound for bands back then, right? Having fun. Yeah, he was, uh, he, was, he, was he was downtown though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was doing the other stuff. Well, I was let's doing go. the other stuff, the, yeah. the punk rock, the stuff the Baptist didn't like. Didn't no, like. they did not like that at all. <laughs> they didn't like anything back then. Yeah. So okay, going back to the eighties, one that I haven't played in forever but is absolutely 100% a sing-along song. Oak Ridge Boys, Elvira. Oh, who doesn't know that? Yeah, I mean, I haven't right. played that song in 20 years, but mm -hmm. that is a sing-along song, and I think it would be funny to bring it back almost, especially, you know, if they're singing. If that's what they're doing, it would be funny to do that. So mm -hmm. that's my contribution for this round. All right, back to the obvious, uh, Jesse's Girl. That was that's an obvious Ooh, good. that's an obvious sing along. Good one. Yep. Scott. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh nine. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh yeah, nice. yeah. There you go. Well that played. is one I've seen people try to they'll know that phone number and they will throw it out there. usually <laughs> you lead them off and once you lead them, you just let them take it. Or just that's do the volume the, the fader uh, the line drop, fader drop, and then they'll just sing over it. Yeah. It's one yeah. of those songs. Yeah. What about um, I found one of on my lists that I thought would be really good to throw out there. Oh boy, let me see. I got a lot here. I'm just trying to pick weird ones or or something that we haven't mentioned. Oh, Abba's Dancing Queen. Dancing or Queen. Ruby. Yeah, that's Abba's one of my. Yeah, that's one of the obvious ones. Yep, for yeah. sure. Uh, well, my next one would be Build Me Up Buttercup. Real easy to sing along to. Everybody knows it. Right. Right before you, right after you do Sweet Caroline. Yeah, Sweet yeah. Caroline. That's a super obvious one. Right. Um, How about uh, go ahead, Scott, and let's do what one. About, more. What about Tarzan Boy? Yeah, they sing yeah. that. Oh, 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 yeah, they like to do that to it. You know. Yeah, they would have fun with that. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking um, something kind of, you know, safe and, um, but everybody knows and it's fun. Hey Jude by the Beatles. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. And, yeah. and you know what? That's perfect for listening music. And that's kind of what we mm -hmm. haven't been talking a lot about. We're talking about mm -hmm. songs that we know that people do sing, but it's there's dances to them as well. Right. Hey Jude is perfect because it's just a sitting and listening song, but they will participate in it. And it'll be one of those where, some people don't know the words, but then when it comes to the na na na, that's when that's the energy will rise. Yeah. Yes, yes, because you can't screw that bit up. Well, you can. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows it. <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, one more song, and then after that, I vote we do one more really strong round, and we go ahead and put a fork in this thing. 
Sounds good to me. Yeah. I'm going to go with the song that I hate, and that is Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Uh, yeah. But Parrotheads like it. Yeah, Parrotheads yeah, do like that it. That guy. Right. But, yeah. yeah. Jimmy, any, in fact, if you're, if you're in a group of people who are into Buffett, anything Buffett, they're going to sing along to. And Howie? Um, let's see. I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and hope that this has played itself out and beat it, Michael Jackson. I I don't play beat it, you know. I think or or back. ABC by the Jackson Five, ABC, you know, something yeah. along those lines. Anything Jackson Five, Rock and Robin, the the Rock and Robin will be good. Yeah. Dee 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 dee. yeah, they mm-hmm. sing along to all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Scott, you got the last song, Big Finish. I, I'm going to say Bad to the Bone, George Thorogood, because yep. it's one of those that I've noticed, and, and it takes the liquid persuasion to get that started. Yep. You play that sure. song in the early in the evening, people look at you like, I remember that, but, but you come back to it later on. <laughs> and yeah, they're, end they're of the out night. there trying yeah. to da, 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 yeah. you're just yeah, end of the night. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they're beating it to death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could go on for another half hour. I know we could, but but I'm, I'm thinking we should quit while we're ahead. Yeah, that's I'm just quite pulling a... this out of my head, guys. Well, <laughs> you're the doing thing a great is, job. So remember, these are gonna be abbreviated uh, receptions, basically. You know, they're gonna yeah. pretty much hey, eat, get out. You know, but we're right. going to be entertaining in between courses, and then you know, so we're yeah. not really going to play that many of them. No, no, right. right, yeah, yeah. They're going to be shorter events, but if you want to kind of do some audience participation stuff right. without right. dancing, this might these might be some yeah. interesting mm-hmm. choices for you. And I'm sure you guys all have your own choices. Watching, please let us know what those are. Yeah. Thank you very Comment much for letting me in. By the way, thank you all. Scott, thank you for joining us. You're, you're like the music of, uh, aficionado. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Um, I, I, I looked at Scott a lot for stuff. He, he's got a lot of musical knowledge, and this is a guy to listen to. So if you guys enjoy this broadcast, let us know. Maybe we'll do more for you. John, I hope you liked it. I hope we're not fired. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> for Disc Jockey News TV, I'm Brian, Howie, Scott. We'll see you next time. 